employment opportunities with Randy Clark. Usually Randy is doing the interviewing, but this morning Randy and I joined together. Randy, good morning. Good morning, Jimmy. Happy How New you? Year. Happy New Year to you. Hope you had a good uh, New Year. Did the fireworks keep you awake? No. No? No, they don't bother me. No? I know some of the folks with pets, it bothers them, but I enjoyed them when I was younger mm -hmm. and they really don't bother me now. So. Hey, how does uh, the cold weather affect what you voluntarily do here in Silicon, and that's cleaning up? It don't stop me. Oh. It don't stop me. I'll just put on another coat and go on about my business. <laughs> <laughs> we keep it going. Our litter program, I couldn't ask for a better litter ca campaign than what we had in 2021. You know, we done it in 2020. I started it in 2019. We done it in 2020. 21 was outstanding. Uh, uh, the volunteers that helped me is what makes the program what it is. You know, I've noticed in 2021, 2020 was the experimenting with it. Mm -hmm. And 2021, it really went into action. We've had commercials on TV. Now, I'm not saying they had anything to do with me because this litter program it's not about bigger me. than you, isn't it? It's way bigger than me. It's about the people mm -hmm. picking up. You know what I've tried to do was uh, somewhere along the line, it, it, it got to where it wasn't as important as it was at one time. You know, and it's the little things that works. You know, uh, such as not letting your trash can out on the street run over. You know. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. When trash is in the garbage can, it's trash. When it falls out the garbage can, that's when it becomes litter. Mm -hmm. You know, I've tried to influence our people not to throw it on our highways and our waterways. Our waterways are important, too. Uh, I went a couple of weekends ago and helped a group clean up around the shoreline. Uh, now, if you'll notice... I don't mention the volunteers' names, mm -hmm. and I have a reason for that. Because sometimes I might forget one, and they don't, <laughs> and they don't like it. But most of them don't really want you to know who they are. They just do it because they're a good citizen, mm -hmm. you know. And I, I have a lot of help. Uh, sometimes you'll see me out doing it by myself. Sometimes I might, you might see me over here, but I also might have somebody over there helping out, and. But I, I do have some folks in town that keeps me going. It's always on your mind, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I uh, remember seeing the story uh, or post or something about you taking your wife to the hospital up here. Oh, Lord. And, and tell that story this morning. Well, uh, uh, she's going in for a test. Of, she's going in for a test or something. Right. Going in for a test. And uh, I was out there picking up and... Uh, I don't know. I got so many stories, Jimmy Dale. It, it's just, it's amazing. Just about every time I go out and pick it up, it, it, it just amazes mm. me, you know, the um, people that come out and help. You know, let me skip that story and go to another one that All happened right. just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, one of my main purposes in Sylacauga is when somebody comes through Sylacauga, I don't care if they're coming to a football game, a basketball game, or just passing through. Mm -hmm. I want them to say how beautiful Sylacauga was when they went through there. That's one of my main purposes, plus keeping the litter yeah. pick up, you know, that's the main thing. But And it's working. It's working a lot. But a couple of weeks ago, and I like to keep our shopping areas. And, you know, I know the city don't own the Walmart parking lot. I know the city don't own the Hobby Lobby parking lot, but there's still Sylacauga Hobby Lobby, and it's still yeah. the Sylacauga Walmart. It's still the Sylacauga Home Depot. So I was out there, and, uh, you know, we're getting some new stores in town. Well, I was out there cleaning up, you know, out in front of Walmart parking lot. I don't go in the parking lot because mm -hmm. they supposedly have folks that does this. Well, everything we do is volunteer. We don't get paid for nothing. And that's, no fun. that's okay. I'm good with that. But a couple of veterans, I mean, I'm a veteran, but these guys were on up in age, 
and they belong to Post 45. Mm -hmm. And they stopped out there and says, have you got another one of them bags and one of them sticks? I said, mm -hmm. sure. They said, we want to help. So they did. It's just little things like that that, that makes things go. Yeah. You know, and uh, I've tried to influence. Don't throw any empty trash in the back of your truck. I got two trucks, and it will fly out. <laughs> yeah. It, it'll fly out. And, uh, you know, ju just the little things is what helps. I understand this is not for everybody. Everybody can't get out and walk. I have the time to do it now. But everybody can't get out and walk and pick up trash. But if you'll just do the little things, like keep it picked up in front of your house, you know, that's a big thing right there. What, one of the biggest things that I tried to do was change the mentality of people. Mm -hmm. Because... Uh, a lot of folks, they don't want. They don't want to look at. No, we don't want to see the nasty things in this world. But if you just pick it up out there in front of your house, I know you didn't throw it down. I understand that. Uh, but pick it up and throw it in your garbage can. Take a little Walmart sack or a Dollar General bag out there and put it in a bag because. Now I've gone over this with Mr. Ben Robbins, and I've talked to Mr. Jim Ziegler about, um, you know how government red tape is, but I want a bill passed in Silicon with these garbage companies, and I know it's going to be tough, but if you want to do business in Alabama, I want the top of those garbage trucks covered because a lot of our litter is coming out of these oh, garbage yeah. trucks. I've had multiple pictures sent to me of trash flying out of garbage truck. There's a little hole in there where they dump your garbage in there, and if it's not covered and they're going 50 miles an hour down 280, that trash is flying And a out. lot of it will come out. Oh, it, a lot of it comes out. But it's just the little things that help, you know. Neighborhoods. We've got neighborhood. I've been to... Now, I handled this in Slugcock, but I have been to Chillsburg. I've been to Oak Grove. I've been to neighborhoods. I've been to Fayetteville. I've been, I've been all over the place. But when I go to these places, these are not my cleanups. I go to help them. Mm -hmm. They are their cleanups. They initiate it. People on the lake, the, uh, you know, we all have to pitch in. It's, it's, I just kind of help jumpstart. A lot of it, Randy, has spread, though, from what we started here in Sylacauga among these other communities. Oh, I'll have to, we got billboards now. We got... Uh, some of the folks, some of our personalities on TV are starting to say something about litter. You know, we're starting, starting to see more do not litter signs. We and use the themes, Silicaga, most beautiful. Uh, oh, yeah. And, and, and that's what we want oh, yeah. here in Silicaga. And, you know, I see uh, it every day. People still, I don't know whether they're not educated or they just don't think or don't care. But, you know, people just toss something out the window, yeah. a, a, a beer bottle or a beer can or a soda can or, or a fast food wrapper, and those things can collect in a well, hurry. I think it's a, a, a little bit of both, to be honest with you. I, I, you know, the dictionary defines it as laziness. Well, I don't like <laughs> to use that word, but I like to use uneducated. You know, maybe nobody's ever told them you're not supposed to throw that out. Well... These little kids that's sitting in the back seat, when they see you, thought, yep. they think it's okay. Yep. So, and I've also tried to get with the elementary kids, kids that's in school. I've took, I've took classes out. Uh, Coach Fawcett, Baby Comrie, gave me those football players. That was a great day, you know. Those guys, they, they, we went through town, we picked up litter, and most of all, we talked about life lessons. Mm -hmm. I, I tried to influence them how important it was to get that high school education. And, uh, you know, just different things like that, talking about stuff. And, and it works. It works if you'll just talk to the people. I don't know why we don't have it back in schools anymore, but that's why I've had a lot of educators on your show. And I appreciate you and TV47 for letting me do that because not only do we talk about jobs, mm -hmm. and we talk about what they're teaching and stuff, but I also let them know before we walk out of here about our litter campaign. So 
It, it just little, yeah. little things. And, and, like. and Randy, too, uh, jobs can tie with the beautification of a city where the companies look to, say, Silicaga, they want to know about the cleanliness of our town. They do, they do. And uh, if you if you look on social media a lot, you see it a lot. People come to our football games, our basketball games, and they, they put on their Silicaga sure was a mm -hmm. clean city. And I have had councilmen from other cities message me and say, what is Silicaga doing that we're not doing? Mm. And all I can tell them is what works and what don't work. I've kind of got that down. What doesn't work, Randy? Uh, uneducated people doesn't work. Uh, putting loose trash in your trash can. You know, when you take your trash can out there to the road every way before trash pick up, don't put no trash out beside it. They're not going to pick mm -mm. it up. That guy is not going to get out of that truck. It is not his job to get out of that truck. His job is to pick that trash can up and put it in there. So little things like that, you know, what I like to say, if a garbage can's running over, all it takes is a five-mile-an-hour wind that blows all yeah. over town. You know, just little things like that. What are some of the highlights of 2021 that uh, uh, you bring to the table today? Well, uh, you know, a lot of things happen to me. People in Silicon Valley appreciate what we're doing. And they showed me that. And I appreciate Solicaga. Uh the Grand Marshal. Well, uh, <laughs> That's I, phenomenal. You know? That was outstanding. <laughs> that was outstanding. I loved it. And uh, the awards I got, you know, people gave me awards. But like I say, this is not about me. I appreciate everything that happened. You know, 2021 was great. And uh I'll tell you about a little story, and I'll make it quick. One of the greatest things that happened was, uh, and i got to mention Mr. Paul Stepp. He has a website, Things Going On in Silicon. And if you don't belong to this website, you need to get on it. Because mm -hmm. if it's happening in Silicon, Mr. Paul yep. will tell us about it. But I'll tell you right now, Mr. Paul don't put up with any negative comments. If he gets too many negative comments on something, he'll shut it down. You're talking about Facebook, right? Right, yeah. Facebook. And he don't put up with any swearing. He don't put up with no ne negativity. And, you know, the um, another thing, if you don't like what's going on in our city, you got a councilman. you got a mayor. you got commissioners. you got a state representative all right here in Silicon yeah. But I will tell you something else. When you call and talk to these guys, be nice. You can get a lot more done oh, yeah. by being nice. Just, uh, just think of it as you're the one on the other end of that phone. You know, the, uh, and Miss Booker, I, I got, I got to give a shout out mm -hmm. to her. Me and my wife, Mr. Paul Stapp, and two or three other volunteers. Christmas morning. She also done this at Thanksgiving. Yeah, I remember. I wasn't involved in Thanksgiving, but I was involved in Christmas. We had Mr. and Miss Santa Claus come down there. These folks was from Lincoln. Great people. They stood out there. I went down there around, it, it was from 8 to 10 in the morning. Anybody that come by there, Miss Booker did not discriminate. She didn't tell them how many plates they could get. She didn't tell them anything. And this was free, you know. Who does that? Miss mm. Booker done yeah. that. And uh, what a great lady. So if you get a chance and you want a good home-cooked meal, That's right. go by there with Miss Booker. Booker's on Norton we, Avenue. Huh? On Norton Avenue. We, got, we gave these plates out. I don't know exactly how many there was. I don't even know if Miss Booker knows how many there was. There was a lot. I'm going to say between three and 400 plates. Wow. And... We gave these plates out. Well, at the end of the day, we had about 40 plates left over. And uh, we decided where, where to take them. We took them over here to the nursing home at Casey Valley Medical Center. And you're talking about some surprise people. I bet. We just went in there. Me and Mr. Paul and my wife, we went in there and we just gave them 40 plates. Them so, those are some happy people. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that warmed up my heart. And... Uh, 
just all the litter programs and uh, the people in Sulacart. I know every business owner in Sulacart. You know, we've our, our employment opportunity show. It is helping. You know, we, we, we have got some jobs. But I'd like to tell you employers, if you want some help, we're here to help yeah. you. We'll try our best to get you some employees. And I'd like to tell the people of Silicon too about our new businesses. Now, how we really know a new business is coming in Silicon is when they go down there and get a permit. Until then, it's just a rumor. But when they go down there and get that permit, that business is coming yep. to Silicon College. And, that, and that's, that's public knowledge as it well, is. public record. Yeah. It is on public record. And, you know, we got some people complaining about, we got too many of this and not enough that, too many of that. I love small town living. I want to keep Sulacaga a small town because I worked in Birmingham over 20 years. Believe me, you don't want, you don't want what goes on up there down here in what, Sulacaga. What are, what are some of the new businesses that you know are coming to Sulacaga in maybe 2022? Well, you know, we got the Milo's. Mm -hmm. I was out there every time. I went out there every time they came to Sulacaga. <laughs> to support them. And great sandwiches, aren't they? Uh, great yeah. sandwiches. And Milo's and T-Mobile is coming right mm -hmm. there. We got a couple of new car washes coming. We got a new service station. I, I think it's called a Circle K. It's coming out there where the old IGA and old Bonanza building yep. is at. And we got a new Dollar Tree. Well, you got people on social media come up. We already got a Dollar Tree. Well, let me tell you about the new Dollar Tree. New Dollar Tree is going over on 21, so that means if you live on 21, you ain't got to drive to yeah. 280. It don't matter what business or how many we getting, it means that we're growing. Got a new Pizza Hut coming, too. We got a new Pizza Hut coming, and I'm not too sure about if it's going to be drive through and dine-in or what, yeah. but we got a new Pizza Hut yeah. coming, and you know, we got... There's some more things coming, and uh, public still holds the permit out here. I know they hadn't. hadn't I think they will in 2022. I think they yeah. will too. Yeah. You, well, you know, like I say, as long as they hold that permit at mm -hmm. City Hall, I say they're coming. Yeah. Uh, and we got some more coming that we can't announce because they hadn't got the permit. It's just rumor. But what a lot of these companies do, they come in here. And they see if their business is going to make it. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they see the need, they come. And that's exactly what Milo's did. So, you know, what, 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 we got some new businesses coming. I personally don't want it to get too big. I like the tax money coming in. and But I like our small town. I see living. you, uh, before we close this morning, I see you downtown sometime. And it'll just be you. Yeah. And... Unassuming Randy Clark, right. just just making Silicaga look better every day. And if we could clone you and get about <laughs> 50 like you, we'd keep Silicaga real clean. We appreciate what you do, Randy. Well, thank you, Jimmy Dale. I appreciate it. I appreciate you letting me have this employment opportunity show. And 2021 was great. We had some wonderful guests on here. But you just wait till 2022. We're going to add a lot of hometown folks and find out just who lives in Sulacaga. What made Sulacaga? I hope to get some history and some present, uh, just whatever we can get talking about Sulacaga. And you know, like I said, this show goes statewide. You know, uh, what is somebody in Irondale calling me wanting to know what we're doing in Sulacaga mm -hmm. that don't make Irondale work? So it carries, you know, and it carries, and, and uh, I really appreciate what y'all uh, y'all let me do that. I'll tell a quick story before we go, and, and uh, Randy does this every day, but uh, one morning at the funeral home, we had, uh, Curtis and Son, we had several services on a Saturday, mm -hmm. and it, would, it had, uh, the dew had fallen. And, you know, when the litter gets out on the side of the road off of 21 right there, and it gets wet, it's a mess. And I said, well, I'm going to go outside and, and I'm going to clean up this litter before the families come in for the service. And so I'm looking at our monitor inside that, that uh, catches everything outside. 
and I see these images of three people, and they were from the church out here. Exactly. And and, and uh, I said, what are y'all doing? He said, we're picking up litter. Right. On a Saturday morning, two of them were kids. Right. And I'm thinking, I'm sure those kids would love to be sleeping right. late, but they're out doing good here in our city. Right. That's right. That, that's what we need. Now, uh, it's the Church of the Highlands. Yeah. You're they had a program called One Straight at a Time. You know, COVID kind of affected a little bit, but they're going to get back at it, and they help us tremendously. And we got different other programs. And uh, one more thing I'd like to say, okay. if I could, our volunteer groups in town. They need some help. Our Beautification Council, the Camellia Club, the all of our volunteer, we need to pitch in and help them, you know. I understand, you know, when I work, I work construction 10 and 12 hours a day. You don't really have time, but the Beautification Council is only $25. They can use that money. I've seen how bad a shape they was in when they was putting up Christmas decorations. They need some help. We need, we need more younger folks getting involved mm -hmm. with our, our Chamber of Commerce. What an outstanding job Laura does down there. Laura Strickland, she does, you know, our poles. Wasn't those beautiful? You know, that, oh, our, yeah. Not, That's not the first just, time I'd ever seen those. It's, it's outstanding. It, it colored our town up, you know. Just different things like this will help make solar cars beautiful again. That's what we had one time, beautiful solar cars. Absolutely. The Marble City. I love solar cars. Yeah. Randy Clark, our guest this morning, job opportunities. And Randy will be with us next Tuesday at 7 o'clock with a special guest.